Hey guys, so today I wanted to bring you a really short acne video, hence no makeup, um, but I got an email from a newsletter that I subscribed to that had 11 tips for acne and I thought that this, oh, my neck is in my shirt, I can like feel it on my boobies, I'm like, ah! Do you hate that feeling when you have like something underneath your clothing, whether it's a clothing tag or a necklace or anything like that? I do. But um, I got this email and I thought, okay, this is 11 tips to acne. A, 11 is kind of like my number since I was born on 11 11 at like 11 11. It's just like a magical number for me. And also, since the fact that acne tips are always helpful, and this claims that it's 11 things that you can do that are simple changes that will help out your skin. And I'm actually going to read them to you. Acne is the supplement that I personally take and love. I'll link you to a review that I did. But in addition to taking the medication, they send me email newsletters, which I personally find helpful because it'll remind me to do things that. Let's be honest, I'm human, maybe I don't always do. Um, but I wanted to read you these 11 things, and these are like really detailed, I'm just gonna kind of brief them out. Um, but if you check the bottom top, I will have links, and I will put absolutely the entire, basically copy and paste the email for you, so that you can actually read the fine print of what they wrote. Because if I sat here and I talked about all of these 11 things and read the entire paragraph that they say, it would literally be a 10 hour long video. So I will link that all for you below, and I'll kind of paraphrase them, um, just because I think that they're important important and I really think they can help people. And I mean it's 11, like 11 is the best number ever in my personal objectional opinion. Um, so the first one is being persistent and consistent, use your treatment as indicated and that is so true. I know that I used to use benzoyl peroxide from my doctor that was prescribed, it was like 60% and she told me only use this twice a week. You know and all the other days use this other cream and I was like oh it's benzoyl peroxide, it'll work, I'm going to just overuse this. And I used it once a day and my face literally like fell off. I was flaking, I was peeling and it dried out my skin so much that it made my acne worse. So even if it's a good thing, too much of a good thing can still be bad. Also being persistent and consistent, I travel a lot and I have to be honest, it's hard for me to stick to a skincare routine um, unless I want to like spend hours bottling up little packages and taking them like on airplane safe containers, you know, and then even then half of them explode in your bag if you check them under the plane, uh, which is super annoying. But I have noticed that a routine, consistent skincare is definitely better for you. And I find that I hate routine. I I'm sick of routine, but at the same time it does help me in a sense that if I'm routine with my skincare, I'll also be routine with my exercise and with my health and with my schoolwork. And sometimes if I fall out of routine of one thing, then all the others just kind of domino effect. So that's just something in my life which is kind of good but kind of sad at the same time. <laughs> um, number two is stay sparkly but not shiny. Clean your acne prone skin twice a day. If you wash your skin way too much, we have a video on it, it can actually cause more oil in the skin because your skin has to overproduce. But if you totally strip your skin and dry it out, it's prone to being even more acne prone, more wrinkles and damage and things like that. Everyone wants a youthful glow but doesn't want to strip. That's why it's important to take care of your body, don't strip the oils, and replenish those oils with a moisturizer or with a product that gets rid of the acne but keeps your skin hydrated. Numero tres is use non-comeogenic skincare products and moisturize, which is very important. Um, I think most everyone who's dealt with acne for a while knows this, but if you are new to acne or if you're just getting a couple of breakouts, always look for project always look for products that say non-comeogenic because they mean that they're dermatologist tested and approved not to be comeogenic or clogging to your skin because the last thing you want to do is try to cover up your acne or get rid of your acne by using products that could cause more. Number quattro is be choosy and don't fall into an exfoliation trap. I think we have yet to do a video on this but over exfoliation is actually a main cause of acne and especially from what I see today is that dermatologists just way over exfoliate. They're like, okay, we're going to give you this medication, it's an antibiotic, it'll make you exfoliate. Um, use this Clarisonic twice a day that'll exfoliate you. Um, wash with this acid that will exfoliate your skin and use a scrub that'll exfoliate your skin. And then um, after that, you can use this moisturizer that has acids that'll exfoliate your skin. And we end up breaking down the layers of our skin that we need and breaking past the acid mantle. If we do the seven layer skin dance, we have seven different layers of our skin in the acid mantle. Um, is very important to keeping our skin's natural pH or natural acid balance. And if we strip our skin too much by exfoliating, we can go down to the dermis and we can cause um, pigmentation, scarring, and we can even irritate the skin so much that it inflames and it causes more acne. So don't over exfoliate and be very choosy with the products that you use. If you use an exfoliating cleanser, maybe don't use a moisturizer or a cream or a serum that has exfoliants in it. Or if you use a gentle cleanser, maybe you could go ahead and use one of those moisturizers all day that has an acid or something in it. But oh, 
hiring, but be choosy and always talk to your dermatologist or a skincare professional or an esthetician about what they think would be best for you. Number five is don't starve your skin. Gorge on fatty acids, omega-3s, berries, and greens. You know that diet is super essential to health. We have a bunch of videos on this. And anyone who tells you that your skin is not related to what you eat is a total liar. Yes, skin can be caused by bacteria and genetics and all sorts of other things, but what you eat is what your body uses as building blocks to build itself. So if you put crap in, you're gonna get crap out. And if you put good stuff in, then you're gonna get good stuff out. And it's pretty simple. Um, I don't know why people say that it's not related because I definitely see and feel a difference when I eat better. Number six is really cute. It's you are sweet enough, limit your sugar intake. We've spoken about this before, but sugar causes a glycemic raise, so same with carbohydrates. And that glycemic raise can cause insulin to spike because what happens is that when we eat sugar, our insulin goes up to combat that sugar so that we don't go into like hypertension mode or what is that? Like hypoglycemia? Hyperglycemia? Well, I don't know. I totally studied that like nine months ago and it just went whoosh, right on my mind with the summer. Um, the summer does that to you though. But um, you know, eating too much sugar can cause an insulin spike which causes hormone spikes which can cause androgen spikes, cortisol which is a stress hormone, um, fat storing hormones and all of those can cause androgens which will worsen your acne or can worsen your acne. So that just kind of goes along with having a healthy diet. If you want a video explaining that in detail let me know because it could be very difficult. Uh, but number seven is make water your best friend. Hydrating your cells and getting a lot of water in there is a great way to detox your body. Um, it's not a pure detox, like it's not a complete detox, but any amount of water that you can increase, even that's in tea, or even if that's just by eating more soup, maybe with low sodium, having that hydration in your body is essential because our bodies are 70 or 80% water. That's what we run off of. And if we're dehydrated, our skin will reflect that. Number eight, we know you are clean. Is your cell phone clean too? What happens as teenagers, as parents, as anyone in a modern day 21st century world when we are constantly on our phone talking to friends, talking to business partners, talking to our teachers, talking to our family, we have... Hi Siri. What kind of businesses are you looking for? <laughs> no thanks Siri. Um, when we constantly have this phone stuck to our face all day long, there can be bacteria on our skin and oil that's transferred onto our phone and we can put it back onto our face. That just spreads, hi phone, that just spreads bacteria around like crazy and it can cause extreme breakouts. So always swab down your phone every now and again, even if it's not every single time you use it. But if you notice breakouts in these central areas and if you notice that you're the kind of person who talks on their phone all the time, um, be sure to check that out because it might be a cause of your acne. Number nine is beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Keep those tresses off your face. As you can see, I wear my hair in a bun pretty much all the time and I've noticed that when I have my hair across my face like I did in middle school, I was that emo kid that had like hair over one eye. <laughs> Anyways, I noticed I would break out a ton on my forehead. I noticed that I wear my hair down, I tend to break out more on my cheeks and my ears and my jawline where my hair touches. Um, especially when it comes to the back. Um, I went to Prague last year for the EADV, which is an international dermatology conference that I spoke at, and I talked to a top dermatologist who said he's doing a study proving that the length of a girl's hair directly reflects how much acne she has on her back. And the longer the hair, the further down the back, uh, the back knee goes. And if they cut it, it seems to clear up. And your hair naturally has oils to lubricate itself and make it shiny and smooth and pretty. But if that gets on your skin, it can cause breakouts. So wear it down when you're with your friends or when you're out and about. But put it up when you go to sleep at night. Put it up when you're at your home. Um, and try to keep it off your face as much as possible. Number 10 is exercise your rights to a healthy body and healthy skin. Um, this is basically overall general nutrition, general exercise. The better your body functions, the better your skin will function. Oxygen to our body helps our skin and our cells have more oxygen, which means it can repair more rapidly, more collagen, stronger, better building, and same with the food that we put in it. Number 11 is have sweet dreams. And this is very interesting to me, so I'll read this one out loud. It says, research indicates that the risk of psychological stress increases by 14% for every hour of sleep that you lose at night. So, since stress increases glutocorticoid production, which can overstimulate sebaceous glands, which is the oil glands in our skin, lack of sleep lack of sleep may exaggerate acne. Also, our skin heals when we sleep, so it's very essential that we get enough, but those are our 11 tips. Um, again, I will have everything in detail what they wrote written below. I will try to link some things to you. And um, if there are any other questions or requests that you have, please let me know. I also wanted to tell you that Acne Ease does have a free webinar. A webinar is basically like 
talking, oh, it's like um, it's like an online classroom, but for me it's like talking to a dermatologist without going to a dermatologist. Um, I'll put the link down for you if you want it. Um, it's going to be on Tuesday, which is October 8th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is going to be 5 p.m. California time and something else somewhere else in the world. Um, but it's great because you can literally learn one-on-one -on -one from a doctor, um, get those answers, get those information, get that information. And if you don't have health care insurance and you can't see a dermatologist, or if you don't see a dermatologist, or if you don't have time, or if you just want another opinion, it's a great way to connect with people and learn a lot more than you would. Um, and really take control of your skin. I'll link that to you below. Again, it's on, did I say the 5th or the 8th? It's on October 8th and it's at 5 p.m. here, 8 p.m. in New York or Eastern time. Um, so I love you guys. I really hope that this video helped you. Again, everything will be in the bottom tab. If you don't check the bottom tab, then you're just missing out because it's like a magical Halloween dance party down there. So that's where the cool kids hang out. But I love you guys so much. Again, I do hope that this helped you. If you have any questions or requests, let me know and I cannot wait to talk to you all soon. Love you guys. Bye.